Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Landguns, and today we're going to take a look at how to crack large rocks solo. So I recently put out a video about sort of a 500,000 credit rock that I'd managed to find on Lyria. Um, and these very large mass high percentage quantanium rocks are out there for those of you searching for them. But what I did in that video was I called upon a friend to come and help me crack it safely. Um, and that's still what I'd recommend in the majority of cases, because the technique we're going to take a look at using to crack these things solo can be a bit risky. Um, and it'll be a lot safer and easier to bring these home as a duo. However, I understand that there's not always somebody around to come and help you. Uh, so it is useful to know this little trick for, for breaking the big rocks on your own. Um, and of course, some people just might not like the idea of profit sharing so uh, so they're willing to take the risk to uh, to take home 100 percent of the profit for themselves which you know might be the case if you've got an 890 jump on your bucket list of course you don't have to fly alone if you don't want to so uh, feel free to take a look at our discord the links in the video description down below uh, we've got a really great growing community um, full of laid-back people who just love star citizens so uh, so if you want to get involved please do come say hi so without further ado, I think we'll get on to cracking some rocks. So as ever, you've got to have the right tools for the job. So in this case, I've got my Lancet MH1 laser attached to my prospector. Um, and the modules are really important for this. So you're going to need Surge and Stampede uh, to make it work. You'll see that I've got two of my sub item slots um, decked out with Surge. That's because each time you attempt to crack a large rock, you're going to use two Surges and one Stampede if you get it right. Um, as you'll see, when it comes to me doing it, it doesn't always go right. So I find having more surges to have more attempts means that there's a, there's a better chance that I get the job done. If you get more proficient and confident with the technique, and you know that you can, you can do it with the five charges of surge you get in the one slot, feel free to sub one of those surge modules out for something like a Brant uh, to make cracking the subsequent breaks easier, uh, particularly if they're very high level quantanium. Um, and just on the laser, there's some debate over whether you should use a helix. Uh, I personally find that the resistance and the instability drop of the lancet make them much of a muchness when it comes to the amount of power you actually get into a rock. So we found a likely candidate to uh, demonstrate the technique on. So this is 7,975 mass. Uh, it's only 14% quantanium, but actually, because the mass has gone up that much, um, it's a reasonable haul still. So to start with, you're going to sort of activate your laser to 100% and really search the rock for one of the weak points. So all rocks will have sort of weaker and more resistant points. Um, and you need to find one of the weak ones where you can get some movement in your laser. So once you've found one of those, you drop your first surge. And you'll notice from that 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 didn't get, get us all the way to the green. So given that our laser doesn't have enough power um, to actually accomplish this, what we're going to do is let the rock cool back down, let that charge level over on the right drop. And it's really a case of trying to eyeball once you get down low enough to drop another surge into it to see if you can land yourself into the green. So the reason that I say that this technique is risky is you could very easily overshoot and go into the red. So once you're in the green, you instantly drop the stampede and that stampede is going to make the charge rate um, a lot quicker. Um, so hopefully you'll have enough time to break the rock before you drop out of the green zone. So in this case, I, I wanted to leave this in because it's you know this is the reason that I um, that I recommend decking out more surges, and I, I don't want to give the impression that this is really easy to do because it's it's not. Uh, so you might take a couple of goes at it. So here I've dropped another surge. And I've come up just short, but it's it's doing it this way. This is what's allowing me to eyeball in sort of how low I should allow the uh, the charge level to drop before I drop that second surge. And so don't don't get frustrated with it. Um, take those extra surges, practice and give it a go, um, and then you will eventually get to the point where you're you're able to eyeball these quite well. So here I've hit it just right. So I've got straight to the top of that green zone, keep my power up, drop my stampede module. And there you see the uh, the charge rate is getting into the rock quicker than it's going to drop out of the green zone. And voila, that is an 8k mass rock, sort of split 
in a single prospector. So we can do this exactly the same in the mole. Um, you just do need to maybe fiddle around quite a bit to, to get yourself sort of very nice and close to the rock. Um, we've got those helpful sort of optimal sufficient charging ranges now. It still seems to make a difference if you sort of even within the optimal range you get really close into the rock. That seems to be where you can get the most charge and the most movement in the charge level. Um, so it might be a bit of a pain in the mole. Um, but even so, it's it's doable. Um, I just used the prospector because I, I felt like playing on easy mode tonight. Don't judge me. The one thing to really bear in mind is that you know, it does take a bit of patience. Um, if you do overcharge the rock, if you sort of massively overshoot, just bear in mind that Surge and Stampede uh, have the effect of amplifying the explosion. Um, so it's always going to be better if you if you mess it up. It's always going to be better if you can to just let the rock cool, let it cool completely, and just start again. Um, don't try and don't try and rush this. Um, and also, just bear in mind, you know, the entire thing might blow up in your face and take your ship down with you. Um, so that's why I would I would still say sort of large rock mining probably best attempted in a group or at least as a duo. Um, that's where it can maybe to my mind be the most rewarding based on the risks involved. Um, but this is a technique that's there just in case you know you come across a amazing forty five percent eight and a half k mass rock um, and none of your friends are around to help you because it would be a shame to leave that out in the field. So thanks very much for watching all the way to the end. It was just a quick one from me tonight because I alluded to the fact that these rocks could be broken solo in the previous video. Um, and a few people had just asked me how it was done, so I wanted to put something quick out on the, the technique. But if you do find this sort of content useful, then please consider hitting subscribe to the channel. Um, and if there was anything that I was doing wrong, or you just want to laugh at the fact that it took me four surges to get there when I said to, uh, then feel free to let me know in the comments down below. So thanks very much for watching and I hope to see you out there.